Atrial fibrillation, also referred to as AFib, happens when the heart's electrical pulses get out of sync, causing an irregular heartbeat. It can lead to just devastating outcomes. Doctors can treat it with ablation, uh, destroying basically the tiny bit of the heart tissue that's causing that electrical problem. Now, scientists are using something referred to as ex vivo, or, or beating donated human hearts, to test a new way of pinpointing the source of AFib. 2.7 million Americans live with atrial fibrillation. It's a condition that causes the heart to pump out of sync and blood to pool and clot. The most dangerous side effect of atrial fibrillation is stroke because that clot can then travel to the brain. Now scientists are studying donated human hearts to better detect the precise point where arrhythmia starts. Researchers are injecting the atria with a dye and using infrared light to see inside the heart wall. If you're familiar with jellyfish, and sometimes if you see jellyfish that has fluorescence, like glowing, we actually can see this glowing inside of the heart after we inject the dye. The hearts are preserved in a special fluid and when warmed, start to beat. The researchers have multiple cameras positioned to capture four-dimensional images and create computer models. The goal is to find the exact cells or drivers that are causing the AFib. You can find that circuit you can then break that circuit with this ablation procedure, and that should quiet down the electrical storm elsewhere in the heart. Researchers say the more precise surgeons can be during ablation, the better the results for the patients. We can prevent of any risk of the stroke, and the patients should not use any more uh, any blood thinners, which also have, unfortunately, side effects. Helping get the human heart back on track. And so many people are diagnosed with AFib every year. So that will hopefully have a lot of people. So the Ohio State Research Team also found that a chemical that is present in human cells and already used by physicians called adenosine may help pinpoint the exact source of the arrhythmia. In a small pilot trial of 10 patients, surgeons used it to guide their ablation. And doctors say eight of the 10 patients were helped by this new treatment method.